Seated at the foot of the Alps, Torino prevails. Once renowned with its automobile industry fiat, it is the Piemont's region's biggest city. Hosting the Winter Olympic Games, Torino revealed its cultural appeal with its sprawling piazzas, refined art museums, and a unique Baroque and neoclassical elegance. Attached to the heart of the city is its largest square, Piazza della Repubblica. It is home to the biggest open-air market in Europe, Porta Palazzo. This is the belly of Torino, a market with 1,000 stalls mostly dedicated to fresh food. A reverberating hub of colors and people, the market's incredibly diverse ethnical, geographical, and seasonal assortment makes it a feast for our eyes and our five senses. On display, we find flavorful vegetables farmed throughout the country and the succulent fruit ripened under the Mediterranean sun. Colossal quantities of the best and cheapest meat, the most refined and popular cheese, fresh fish and agricultural products are brought to the stalls six days a week for every week of the year. Depending on the season, colors change under the shades of the fruit and vegetable market. There are stalls that offer everything but others that just sell one product at a time. In winter, the dominating color is green, the color of artichokes. Mario is a young vendor who took over his father's stall and has decided to sell only the main product in season. Ho iniziato a vendere solo carciofi perché è un prodotto che comunque io conosco bene e mi piace. So come cucinarlo, so come conservarlo, conosco le caratteristiche. Io preferisco seguire la stagione perché il prodotto è più buono. Non esce niente di forza, la roba fresca e la roba sana. This is the season for the carciofo spinoso sardo, o thorny artichoke. The heart and tender inner leaves are delicious when eaten raw with salt, vinegar, and olive oil. Io pulisco i carciofi per venderli perché comunque tanta gente non li comprerebbe neanche perché sono scomodi, hanno le spine, sono scomodi da pulire. Alcuni comprano quelli non puliti o da pulire perché comunque dura dura molto di più come conservazione. Se invece lo pulisci entro pochi, pochi giorni devi cucinarlo, devi prepararlo. For each variety of this winter crop, Italians have a different recipe. It's no wonder that Italy is the world's leading artichoke producer. Federica shops at various stalls before opening the one she runs at the meat market. She needs local ingredients to prepare some of her dishes. Today, she needs hazelnuts, apples and cheese. La nostra avventura è nata nel 1916, quando il mio bisnonno è arrivato dalla guerra e ha comprato il primo banco del mercato coperto, che era ancora in costruzione. When the Tester family started to sell meat at the Clock Tower Market 100 years ago, animals were sold alive. Now every stall has its own speciality. Not a slaughterhouse anymore, today the iron and glass market is the urban reign of meats. Federica and her family have made the strategical choice to sell prepared meats. From sausages to cold meats, every day they choose a special dish to promote.
siamo in un mercato di 100 stand, su 190 vendono carne e quindi bisogna trovare la giusta chiave di ingresso per differenziarsi da tutti gli altri. Noi ci differenziamo creando piatti pronti a cuocere anche perché la gente ha sempre meno tempo di mettersi a preparare. Ti permette di avere un prodotto diverso, giusto, sano e a un prezzo comunque molto concorrenziale. What makes the tester stall so special is the strong link they preserve between 100 years of profession and the use of local products that are farmed in the areas around Torino. I miei bisnonni iniziavano a fare questo piatto già all'epoca perché siamo di origini di Cuneo e a Cuneo le nocciole si sa benissimo che si usano molto e quindi è una, diciamo, una storia di famiglia che si prosegue negli anni e permette al cliente che l'assaggia di mangiare una cosa deliziosa e però comunque allo stesso tempo molto semplice da, da cucinare. On the opposite side of the Porta Palazzo market are the fish stalls. Torino's inland location has always been more favorable to a local cuisine of meat rather than seafood. The only exception to this being anchovies that were brought here a few centuries ago. The arrival of the immigrants from the coastal regions of Italy brought a variety of seafood to the market and it became popular. At the fish market, Beppe Gallina stall is perhaps the most well known in town. Questo banco è uno dei banchi più vecchi di Torino, ha 140 anni circa. Io lavoro in questa attività dall'età di 12 anni. Beppe has been named Master of Taste by the Slow Food Movement, an organization born in Piemonte which fosters the production, sale and consumption of local food. He tells us that fish also has a seasonality. Siamo per finire la stagione delle seppie nere e abbiamo iniziato da poco la stagione dei tonni. A differenza della frutta e verdura, il pesce si trova sempre, ce n'è di meno se è fuori stagione. Quando entra in stagione ne trovi di più, più saporito perché è il momento in cui deve essere pescato e sicuramente essendoci più pesca il prezzo cala. Andiamo a cercare, ci dai di importo il numero 4. Tolgo anche la testa. Va bene, dai. Solo perché lei e il marito dove l'ho lasciato? Mi ha abbandonato. Non si preoccupi, stasera torna a casa. <ride> lei dice? <ride> sì, sì, è un'abitudine. Non... Per favore, pulito, sfamato e tolta la testa, grazie. 70% del pescato che io cerco di fare lo faccio in provenienza Mar Ligure. Quindi ieri il pesce alle 4 è stato battuto all'asta, stamattina alle 5 era qua sul mercato di Torino. Today on his stall you can find 60 varieties of fish. The best fish he has comes from the small port of Imperia, where fishermen net their catch of the day. Se fosse per me avrei solo esclusivamente pesce d'Imperia. È il mare più vicino che abbiamo. È un mare aperto, ha un continuo riciclo d'acqua sull'oceano. Salato, profondo, pieno di scogli. Beppe serves very selective clients and a number of restaurants which place orders in advance. Once, he had to hope good fish would arrive in Torino. Now he checks on his smartphone what is available at the auction of Imperia. Ci sono delle triglie, ci sono dei pagelli, ci sono delle occhiate e ci sono delle mormore. Quattro casse che sicuramente non avrei comprato a occhi chiusi. Beppe accepts the offer. Putting together technology and his professional eye, he can propose to his clients the best and freshest fish every day. With hundreds of outdoor stalls and three pavilions, Porta Palazzo is the place where every customer's need can be satisfied, but also where farmers have a chance of selling their agricultural products. Positioned just behind the clock tower, 
The farmer's market sells only local food. All of the vendors here must cultivate their own products in the surrounding Piemonte region. One of the farmers selling is Gianni Lana. La vendita diretta ti permette tutti i giorni di portare a casa qualcosa. È proprio una scelta di sopravvivenza nostra, perché altrimenti altri sbocchi son, sarebbero tutti difficili. Due uova, eh? Due uova di quelle grosse. Due? Due più grosse? Sì. Come le fai le uova? Come le faccio? Io faccio a padellino e basta. E poi le metto sopra gli asparagi, ho solo l'insalata. Va bene così. On the hills surrounding Torino is Rivalba. Only 20 kilometers from the Porta Palazzo market, it is one of the region's cradles of agriculture. It is here that Gianni farms his products, vegetables, herbs, flowers, cows, goats, chickens, and geese. Le oche generalmente depongono le uova sullo stesso punto, si affezionano a un punto che magari prima cercano e poi tendono a coprirlo, quindi almeno due o tre volte al giorno bisogna fare il giro nei punti dove più o meno depongono le uova e cercarle. In the spring months Gianni collects over 100 eggs a week. Thanks to their consistency they are perfect for the preparation of savory and sweet cakes and especially custard. Unfortunately, the season doesn't last long. Le uova d'oca, diciamo, da fine gennaio, febbraio, fino a fine maggio, dove c'è la produzione maggiore. After his mornings at the market, Gianni works on the farm with his brother, two sons and elderly but active parents. We are still the only contadini. We are producers 100%. In the different seasons, the Lana family grow a great variety of vegetables. Questa è la zona del pisello di Casalborgone, in cui negli anni 60-70 le colline intere erano di piselli. Era una cultura che durava un mese, però portava alle aziende un po' di soldi. Se noi facessimo solo le, le, le produzioni tipiche della zona, non ci sarebbe più mercato. Gianni needs to diversify his products to survive on the market. Often it's his clients who demand different crops. Some even bring him the seeds and ask him to grow their favorite vegetables. Per anni è stato il migliore era meridionale, il migliore cliente. E adesso negli ultimi anni sono quelli dell'est, i rumeni in particolare. Vegetables with unrecognizable names, once not known of in the region, are now being cultivated here. Sono a pochi chilometri dalla città, ma sono in un altro mondo, dove io sto bene, dove ho, la mia, dove ho tutte le mie cose. There is no better place to understand what is local and in season than the 102 stalls at this farmer's market. Eyeing the wealth of goods on display, one understands the region's culinary traditions in the most delightful of ways. Luca Vaschetti is a chef who leaves no stone unturned when it comes to understanding what local products are in season. He has a cooking lab where he experiments new dishes. 
vengo qui al mercato tutte le settimane perché credo, credo nell'agricoltura locale, credo nella, nella stagionalità, nella freschezza dell'ingrediente. Barbabook li fai sbollentare e poi li, li, non so, li passi al burro. Li fai sbollentare e poi dopo li, li condisci come, li, come lo sparago, sì. poi il formaggio. Bello. Mi piace, voglio usarli questi, perché sto preparando le ricette per la primavera. Expertise and advice is always on hand from the farmers. The knowledge is precious. Che bello questo raffano. Il raffano non, non ci avevo pensato, non me lo aspettavo. O meglio, l'avevo intravisto ma non ci avevo mai prestato attenzione. On weekdays, Luca experiments what he learned from the farmers at the market. With his partners, he is engaged in preparing ready-to-eat dishes using only seasonal products. Their new business is soaring, and they already have several retailers to supply. As the winter season is ending, Luca and his team are creating and testing the recipes for the coming season. Preso dei, degli asparagi, i primi asparagi, ho preso ancora dei carciofi, delle, delle carote novelle, gli ultimi dei broccoli romaneschi e poi eh, le marinerò con, con del succo d'arancia e delle erbe aromatiche e dell'olio. While Luca is inspired above all by traditional recipes, he attempts to be innovative in the combination of his ingredients. La scelta di marinare le verdure con l'arancio e il miele è un po' di ispirazione di una salsa classica che è la citronette. The vegetables are steamed and then added to the sauce. Cooks test the colors, consistency, aroma, and taste. Their challenge is to evoke the senses solicited at the market into their dish. Se devo fare un appunto, si trova che questa dolcezza è un po'. un po' troppo. Un po' troppo. Forse la carota. E c'è sorto un dubbio. Il, il dubbio che fosse troppo dolce e troppo troppo stucchevole la marinata e che potesse annoiare dopo, dopo qualche boccone e abbiamo deciso alla fine di aggiungerci una punta di rafano e con, con il rafano noi li andiamo ad aggiungere una leggera piccantezza e un tocco di freschezza che, che altrimenti non avrebbero queste verdure. Sì, è fresco per, per l'estate la volta. No, mi ha convinto, sono... sì, sì, penso che sia fresco, uno lo vede bello colorato e... Sì, bello, bello. The marinated delight is now packaged and prepared for delivery. Luca aims at selling 1,600 portions, should the customers find the dish as fresh and flavorsome as planned. In Torino, there are more than 50 street food markets, but Porto Palazzo is the biggest of all. Nine city transport lines cross the piazza, making it easy for the customers to reach the market and return home with their bags loaded with food. Tram number four is the most frequented line in town. Running through the market, it connects the northern and southern suburbs where the large working class communities live. 
Nearly 70,000 people travel on this tram every day. The only market on the line is Porta Palazzo. visit the market just to do their shopping. Federico Buario often comes for the pleasure of strolling around the stalls. He is a statistical analyst. He consults for many research centers on food, studying consumer habits. I have a great passion for the market, that comes from when I was a kid. My mother taught me from the other part of the city, and I went to home from school, sulla strada tra la scuola e casa c'era un mercato. Mia madre mi dava l'elenco della spesa tutte le mattine e io passavo e facevo gli acquisti. E mia madre passava una volta alla settimana per pagare. Me ne sceglie 5 o 6, non piccolissimi ma piccoli. Più belli che ha. Facciamo poi di guardi. Eh, li vedo, li vedo. Sembrano quelli di Biancaneve. Sono bellissimi. According to Federico, what makes the market so unique is the huge variety of products on offer and the friendly relationship between consumer and vendor. Mi dà quello lì e me lo mette in una borsa. Grazie. Ma tua mano è questo? Sì, sì, ho visto, ho visto, signora. Un euro e cinquanta. Nel mercato si possono fare delle scelte. Questo senso di libertà nell'acquisto, no? nel, nell anche nella scelta, il poter chiedere, il sapere da dove viene il prodotto, anche toccare la merce, anche assaggiare prima di comprarla. Ecco, questo per esempio a me è sempre piaciuto. Ecco, bravo. Siamo ancora un chivo, così siamo a posto. Via. Un chivo e due mesi. Ok, arrivederci. Grazie. This market boasts a remarkable 100,000 customers a week. A figure envied by the large food distributors. People of all ethnicities, social class and age blend among the stalls. La clientela del mercato non è mai la stessa. Cambia in funzione del tempo e soprattutto in funzione dell'ora. Per esempio, le persone che devono andare a lavorare vanno al mercato prima di andare a lavorare. Alle 10 di norma c'è un calo delle presenze. Quando le massaie vanno a casa a fare da mangiare, si verifica un nuovo caso delle vendite. Questo calo delle vendite preoccupa molto gli operatori del mercato, perché a quel punto sanno che hanno ancora al massimo un'ora per vendere. E non subito ma nell'arco di 10-20 minuti incominciano ad abbassare i prezzi. At this point, two specific types of people come to buy at bargain prices. Persone che hanno effettivamente dei problemi economici, che sanno che andando a quell'ora lì pagano molto meno, Contemporaneamente ci sono persone abbienti, ma molto parsimoniose, che compreranno un prodotto di ottima qualità, fresco, con degli sconti molto forti. Improvisation or strategy? Market vendors rapidly adapt to the needs of their clients, guaranteeing their own survival. The market is a highly competitive environment. Stalls touch one another and need to distinguish themselves. How the food is displayed is of vital importance. C'è chi mette in una sistemazione, c'è chi è giusta così. Poi quello solamente a me piace all'occhio. Quando vuoi mangiare una cosa la vedi con l'occhio. Se è bella la compri, se non è bella può essere anche buona, però no, perché non è bella vedersi. Manipulating form, color and product varieties, vendors compete. Some fill their stalls with great quantities, others draw rhythmic patterns based on the shape and color of their products. 
To seduce the customers, each one uses his own fantasy and sense of humor. While most of us are sleeping, the market vendors start working. Gates open at 3.30 a.m. at the city's wholesalers. Every night, more than 100 semi-trailer trucks unload their freight of fresh fruit and vegetables. The produce mainly comes by highway from the south of Italy. Sicily and Puglia above all. It is a direct non-stop connection. If Porta Palazzo is the belly of the city, the wholesaler market are the lungs. As he does every night, Giuseppe comes to buy fresh vegetables for his stall. Poi un po' di pomodori. No, non so dove metterli. piccadilli. Giuseppe arrived at the wholesalers at 2 a.m. He queued up and waited an hour and a half to be amongst the first to enter the area, check the new arrivals and negotiate the best price. At dawn, the last vendors leave ready to start their day at the market. The vegetables coming from the south of Italy reach the market of Porta Palazzo in less than 24 hours. Giuseppe sells only three products, potatoes, onions and carrots. The market customers know that they can count on him for the best quality and lowest price all year round. A typical product of the Porta Palazzo market is cheese. There is no other place in town where such a collection of cheese can be found at such a low price. Every cheese has a story, and every story is a recipe. Looking across the counter at the cheese on sale, one can trace back 100 years of Italian immigration. They came from the poorer cities and regions of Istria, Veneto, Sardinia, Naples, Puglia, Sicily, to work in the car industry. All brought their favorite cheese with them. One cheese unites all Italian families who can't live without it, the Parmesan cheese, which is more exactly called grana. It is bought freshly cut and then grated onto the pasta. An average grana wheel weighs 38 kilos and fetches a cost of nearly 800 euros. The wheel must be cut with care, in regular forms easy to grate. 
The tastiest part is at the center of the wheel, the heart. Customers are very picky with grana, and a wrong cut can be a great loss for the vendor. Homemade cheese is sold at the farmer's market. Piemonte can boast 50 varieties of cheese, depending on the area where the milk is produced. Daniela Barr sells cheese he produces in the Alps. Behind the Novaleza Abbey in the Alps, Daniela, his wife and a helper, have taken on the mountain tradition of producing cow, goat and sheep's milk cheese. They produce over 17 kinds of fresh and seasoned cheese. Their excellence is the ricotta. The ricotta, which literally means cooked again, is produced from the whey, a low fat liquid, which is a byproduct of cheese production. When heated and cooled, the whey transforms into a light, creamy pulp with only 13% of fat. Ricotta cannot be stored and has to be eaten fresh to appreciate its delicate flavor. Daniele loves his mountains but his customers are at the market in Torino. The stall at Porto Palazzo is weekly replenished and Daniela's clients eagerly wait for the just made ricotta. La ricotta è adesso è molto richiesta quella di capra. Abbiamo fatto molta fatica a inserire la ricotta di capra perché nessuno la voleva all'inizio. Adesso vengono a cercare la ricotta di capra per mangiare. Per cucinare vengono a cercare quella di pecora, perché rimane leggermente più compatta, un po' più gustosa. Vorremmo della ricotta di pecora. Uno, due, tre. Una, una. Basta. Basta una. Basta. Quando, di quando è? Questa? Eh. È fresca di ieri. Yeah. Among Daniela's regular clients, there are two young chefs who wait for his ricotta. At the farmer's market, they also buy a herb originally from Syria called borage. Not even a minute's walk away from the market is their restaurant, the Three Chickens. It was the first in town and was established in the 1600s when chickens were sold live on its doorstep. Its connection to the market has always been fundamental and still today it can serve its clients with the freshest ricotta and borage. The ingredients are worked and shaped 
into one of the most traditional of all the Piemont fresh pasta, the ravioli. A few minutes on the stove and the dish is ready to be served. When spring turns to summer and the fruits are harvested, the colors change at the farmer's market. The farms around Torino are famous for their production of red fruit. Carlo Valgrandi is another local producer selling at Porta Palazzo. He has a very small stand and today he is offering his harvest of strawberries, wild strawberries, red berries and cherries. Carlo's farm is only 15 kilometers from the market. In the greenhouses, he grows strawberries. And on the hills behind the farm, he has his fruit trees. With no help but that of his elderly father, Carlo works the land and harvests his fruit. His cherry trees grow practically wild and produce a small number of incredibly red, juicy and tasty cherries. The cherry season is very short, reaching its peak in mid-June. After market hours, Carlo gathers the two different type of cherries he has before they get damaged by the summer storms. One of Carlo's customers is Roberto, who has recently set up an ice cream parlor not far from Porto Palazzo. The ice cream he makes is based on the supply of fruit he gets from Carlo and from other farmers. Roberto doesn't store his fruit in a fridge, but relies on the market for his fresh daily supplies. With small quantities of fresh fruit and some liters of milk, he makes eight different ice creams and over 300 cones a day. His cherry ice cream is the most stunning and pleasing you can possibly eat.
Unnoticed to many, Sabino looks after the cabinets that adorn the Porta Palazzo market. Io vengo periodicamente, sia qui che in altri posti, dovunque ho le statue, che faccio gestione, cambio le lampadine, dovunque passo periodicamente per vedere che sia tutto a posto. The farmer's market, the fish market and the clock tower market each have a holy protector. Sabino has been taking care of these icons since he arrived in Torino 50 years ago. A true labor of love. Tutti noi abbiamo bisogno di un'immagine. Tutti, prima o poi abbiamo dei problemi, se troviamo un'immagine e si incomincia con un saluto, poi può arrivare una preghiera, può arrivare un'implorazione, può cambiare la vita di un uomo. A police station is located in one of the pavilions of the market. Here, officers managing the market have their headquarters. They check that each vendor follows the rules and regulations of the market. Mi raccomando questa roba, jabba. Jabba. Da spostare. Ciao. For every product on sale, there must be a corresponding sign with the name of the product, origin and price per kilogram. And their most important daily task is the assignment of the vacant spaces. At the fruit and vegetable market, not all vendors have an assured place for their business. Those who have a permanent license must occupy their space by 8.30 a.m. The remaining spaces are then assigned to vendors with a temporary license. Vai all'ufficio commercio, invia me un C4 e chiedi, ti devono dare il duplicato di quella nuova, perché effettivamente, eh? allora aspetta che lo segniamo questo. Permesso di soggiorno, posto? E dove me lo fai vedere per favore? Each morning they have to present themselves to the police, show proof of their license to sell and request a place. Even if the assignment process is unpredictable, Porto Palazzo can be for many foreigners the first opportunity to find a place in the city's economy. The arrival of Moroccans from across the Mediterranean has brought mint to the market. The Piemonte region, world famous for its vineyards, is a land where mint grows easily. Here it is mainly used to produce essences and menthols. A few kilometers south of the city center, a Moroccan vendor has planted his mint and it is growing beautifully. This mint is less spicy but very flavorsome. With a dollop of sugar, it gives the black tea a long, lasting, tangy taste. The mint is hand-picked at 6 a.m. A few hours later, it is loaded into a van and taken to the market. Porta Palazzo is a hotpot of multinational vendors. Each serve their community, bringing their culinary traditions and cuisine to the city. Guided tours are now organized so that the customers can learn about the new products on sale at the market. Whole wheat bread, sour yogurt, pickles, herbs and spice mincemeat. None of these were available just a couple of years ago. Yeah. 
Porta Palazzo has always been and will always be the place that is able to adapt to changes and keep traditions. When the market day is over, the stalls are dismantled, the shutters are closed, and the farmers go back to their hills. But there is still something that must be done. After a long and crowded Saturday at the market, 15,000 kilograms of garbage is left on the square. Porta Palazzo is now unrecognizable, a ground zero. Organic waste, wooden, plastic and cardboard crates, boxes and paper wrappings are all cleared away by a symphony of 18 personnel, five heavy duty machines and trucks and six hours of work. Finally, the piazza is empty and clean. In a couple of hours, the vendors will arrive with their fresh food. In no time, every square inch will be filled with the most lively colors, smells, and sounds.